Hi, Rumi and Zamdrushnik. Thank you for being here and welcome back to the Empire of the Bouncy Tail in our Stellaris Nemesis series. We are almost meeting another empire. We have met the Pithok Autocracy, which we don't like. <laughs> but then again, who are we going to like? Probably nobody. Oh, okay. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Now, one of the things I really need is a good relic. <laughs> that can save us. But anyway, I mean, we're not we're not doing poorly or anything, but uh, I would like to do better. Um, I am going to go. I don't know. I have no idea. Fascinating. I really don't know what to do. This is the first time I really don't know which tradition to pick. Hmm. I'm good on the uh, offensive side. We can't really, you know, colonize anything. Although... Hmm. This would at least ex allow us to expand more even without the colonies, but maybe... No, no, no. No, no, no. Maybe we should go all economy. We need the strongest economy this galaxy has ever seen. That's what we need. But I also kind of want this research here and this and getting discovery tradition also increases your research speed by 10%. So I think we should go research and then economy. Uh, there. Yeah, let's do that. We need research. 10% is a big modifier. Unless it's 10% of nothing, which which then is nothing. But we're working on it. We're working on it. And we have the um we have the second research lab here already. I need to think about what to do here though. Let me go for an industrial district. And we have the mineral income to sustain it. We'll get more consumer goods and more alloys for it. Now I also might want to queue up another city district immediately. Maybe. Yeah, let's queue it up. Let's just queue it up. Um, and I'm considering... Oh, hello. Is it another scout ship? Yeah. But we'll, we'll get to know them before we... Uh, before we can, you know, kill that ship so it's kind of uh, useless to send our brave, System brave soldiers complete. that way. The Pithok have a higher amount of points than we do. Doesn't surprise me. Ooh, espionage event. So we are gathering information in the Pithok, and that also, like archaeology, goes through events. Our operatives have completed their information gathering operation and have sent a dossier to detailing their findings. Now, this is your state of intel. Changing at a rate of one per month. The maximum of 21, so we won't get more intel right now. But I guess it is modified by... Infiltration? That makes sense. That makes sense. Oh yes, look. So we get 5 intel now, and then our infiltration level will change by minus 5. So what did we learn? We learned that they have a diplomatic weight of 225. Is that it? Seriously? Okay, do it again. Now, note that these missions have an upkeep cost. So they have a one-time cost of 400. And then an upkeep cost of four. So you need to take that into account. You need to take it into account. Initiating tactical retreat. Oh, what's over there? Aha! A space station. And I'm guessing this is a mining station? Yeah. Okay, so their empire is definitely here. Good to know. Good to know. But that does not mean we cannot survey these systems. 
And perhaps this means... No. It doesn't mean that. It, it doesn't. It doesn't do shit. Just scientific doesn't. breakthrough achieved. Fusion reactor. Good. Um, let's actually go for energy credits. And I want those shields too. Now, depending on where they are exactly, if they're here too, this would actually be a very good defensive system. They are not here. So I don't know if I want to get your of was or not. But maybe if they have tropical world preference, then I definitely want to have your of was. Anomaly found. To take it away from them. Patrice, okay. A curious signal. Construction complete. Yeah, go take that. I have made my decision. It is final. Now you can be upgraded, apparently. Do I want to add more corvettes to this fleet? I think I do. Oh, you have a 40 command limit already? Wow. Good. Let's do 30 out of 40, and then when we get destroyers, we will fill up the rest with destroyers. Okay, we have made contact. The Cap Capheavad bonded merchants. An alien empire wishes to come. Why such hostility, proto -Rumian? We mean you no harm. Okay. We will embrace the greater good eventually. We'll be nice-ish, I suppose. And you do like <laughs> the tropical planets. <laughs> yeah, this one's mine. And I, I, this one's going to be mine too. <laughs> I'm not going to colonize it because I can't live on it, but it's going to be mine. Having decrypted the signal, Manaya Herminius was astonished to discover it was broadcasting in an archaic form of one of the main Proto-Rumian languages. Speaking in these, thous, and whenceforths, it appears to be reciting one of the lost works of Agrippa Numisius, a renowned Proto-Rumian playwright who lived some 600 years ago. It appears that the broadcasting device, a simple satellite dish protected by a small shelter, is the only non-natural structure on the planet. There is no hint as to who left it there or why, but going by the wear and tear on evidence, it must have been there since, the sh since shortly after the play was first written, long before Rumians learned the secret of space travel. We can only assume it was left there by ancient visitors to Arumis who took a liking to the play and decided to pay our species a strange and unexpected tribute. So we could get the Superiority Reaffirm modifier for 60 months, getting higher unity and pop happiness, which would be nice. Or we could get a flat unity bonus right now. Our, our income is 25.12 per month. So let me do the math. 25.12 times 60. So that's 1500 unity. And this would be... No, you're dumb. You are so dumb, Drush. That is, that is totally the wrong calculation. Okay. So, 25.12. <laughs> oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay. So, we would be getting 28.8 unity per month for 60 months. Is that entirely correct, probably? Oh, that's good. Okay. Yep. That's good. That's good. We like that. That's 1700 unity instead of 1500. So it's actually less than this. But the pop happiness, though? The pop happiness would give us... Higher production rates. Let's do it. Our ships have been made superior. Let's do it. Our operatives have completed their gathering. Okay, good. What did we learn? Guys. What did we learn? I don't even see what we learned. Everything is still unknown. Come on, man. Launch. And actually start doing the same thing here. Go. Okay. Incoming transmission. Ooh, what do you want? Migration treaty? Oh, that would be great. Oh, an embassy. Fine. You know what? Do you want to live on our planets? Because that then I could do. I vassalize them. Yeah, but you're a little bit suspicious. I don't know why. <laughs> what did I ever do to you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Joke's on you, man. 
Okay, um... <laughs> Yep, reinforce. We need the ships. I After the, the next collection of data, I'm going to wait until we can gather an asset. Because with an asset, I think things go a lot faster or in a more successful way. Now we have our transport fleet here. Um, this is also the time to start changing some names. So our first admiral will be called Coal Courier and our general over here our general to be um, <laughs> let's go for the butcher let's go for the butcher butcher your name <laughs> the butcher butcher James just James. Enjoy uh, the butchering. Um, I want to go there as quickly as possible. Hey, you were doing that. Did you forget about that? Scientific breakthrough achieved. That's not nice. Uh, I want... System survey complete. I guess the off-road trading company, although we don't really have a lot of worlds. Found. Docking hatch. Um, <laughs> we need to get this too. We need to. I would like to get this, but we won't. We won't make it in time. And this is taking forever, by the way. I hope they don't colonize it before we uh, finish this research. I don't think so. She's already at eighty-six percent, but still, it's taking forever. Construction okay. complete. Good. <laughs> okay, so they are all the way up there. So we can still go this way. Oh, wait, we wanted that. Hmm. I need another construction ship. The asteroid appears to have been used intermittently as a base by a band of alien pirates roughly 1,000 years ago. A small boarding party entered the base and managed to recover their abandoned treasure hoard. It, is consisted, it consisted largely of stro stolen trinkets and artifacts, but some of it still appears to be of value. Could we get some energy credits and a small artifact? Now watch this be inhabited by uh, raiders that then become the Khan. Just watch my luck. Okay, what did we gather? I mean, I guess we, we gathered more information about their inner territory. And we now know that they are technologically equivalent and economically equivalent, although this is stale intel. But I'm gonna wait now until we have enough to get the asset. Do we have 10 here? Oh, yes, we do. Okay, now you go here, because we need that as well. Yes, because we have this now, so this is stabilized. A derelict Eration cr cruiser has been left forgotten for over a million years in close orbit around Rhizor 7A. The slowly spinning vessel shows no obvious signs of weapon damage, and all escape pods remain accounted for. As would be expected, no power signatures can be detected from within its hull. Situation log updated. Oh, I need this. Research now. Before System they colonize this, please complete. get it. Please get us the cruiser. That would make me really happy. Construction complete. Really, really happy. Okay, so we'll look at these two. I will uh, upgrade the starbase over here when I have enough. And um, we got the observation post. We're going to do some aggressive observation. And I'm pretty sure if we want to, we can ask the transport fleet to land the armies there and uplift them that way. <laughs> this is a very mean way of doing these things. We'll have a massive, massive culture shock if we do that. We might want to take this planet. I mean, it's not habitable to us, but it is habitable to these guys, and that might be worth a lot. I don't know. Okay, so they still don't have a construction ship, so we will get the derelict cruiser in time. Which is very nice, otherwise they would have gotten it. Special project. There we go. Complete. 
Scientific breakthrough achieved. Wait, we didn't get it? No, I clicked it away, but I didn't get it. I guess we got other things. Are you kidding me? Are, ah, you're kidding. No. Okay, fine. Fine. Um, mm -mm -mm. Let, ooh, look at that. Zero energy credit income. Deflectors? Yeah. We need energy. We also need amenities. But we have just one job left here? Wow. Um, we did never built the gene clinics. Let's do that. That gives us a little bit of amenities as well. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Okay, mining station output, good. That gives us energy again. Uh, minerals for miners or armor. Let's go for armor first. Construction complete. And now, I mean, we're, we're going to have to be a little bit careful with our energy here. So, we are behind in engineering and physics. So, I guess you can get these research stations. Um, mm -mm -mm, and I want these. And I would like to have the Zerocorp inside my empire. System survey complete. So, we might want to make sure that that happens at the very least. But yeah, I'm, I'm really thinking of invading this and using these guys as slaves. I might want to do that. It's a little bit risky if they revolt, but... Yeah, I'm gonna do it. They're in the medieval era. What do we care? Construction complete. Okay, so they are also equivalent here. We don't know about their fleet power. Let's do it again. Okay. Um, I want the. Uh, I want this. So let's increase our survey speed, which is quite slow. Anomaly found. Armed vessel research. Maybe that will give us something cool. I have to be careful with our energy. Would be nice to get Dorabius for the three energy there. And I kind of want to get Steropi as well. You know what? How about we go at least get ourselves over there? Get the gateway. And, and, and upgrade this one. And I I think we'll use Obnol as a defensive station, because it only has one entrance here. The armed vessel discovered in orbit of WPR-Y2K is an abandoned military spacecraft called Nefris Pride. Its light frame and evasion hardware suggests it was built for long-distance patrol missions, but it has since been retrofitted into a long-range stealth bomber. Records of the ship's comms reveal it was hijacked by a rebel guerrilla on its way to perform a strike against a secret complex called the X-Fan Labs, set to hold a weapon so powerful it could win them the war, and they were shot down. We have extracted this ship's destination from its navigational drive. Ew, okay. Yeah. Fine. Situation log updated. Let's get the X-Fan. Um, do we know... Oh, wow. <laughs> Their, eco their economic strength is pretty nice. Technologically, they're ahead of us, too. But, you know, everybody is going to be ahead of us because they will simply have... Construction complete. They will simply have more... Um... Oh, we have moats here. More colonies and more pops, and uh, they will be producing more. Rivalry from you guys. Complete. I thought you said you were very, very nice. Well, you not you don't seem very peaceful to me. You know that? You don't seem very peaceful to me. And why are we not surveying this? Oh, because you need to go there. Okay, so when you're done there, you're gonna continue on Anomaly found. here, here, here. Crash ship yet? Yeah, research, and then over there. <laughs> what was this again? Angle. Scientific okay. breakthrough achieved. 
Off World Trading Company. Habitability. I think we're gonna start having. Ooh, terraforming. Well, we need both. Special project. We need both. Um, we're okay on this right now, so let's go for terraforming. Our scientists have returned from the Exvan Labs unscathed, with footage collected from the facility's security cameras. It shows lab scientists bound and gagged as guerrilla soldiers pry open the weapon strong box. But to their dismay, the box is empty. Only minutes later, the rebels can be seen writhing on the floor in intense agony. Dark patches swelling across their bodies, then their skin rips and a gray, unidentifiable matter spills out. The matter continues to expand, swirling hypnotically around them, until one of the scientists activates the emergency system. Sprinklers douse the room in liquid, and an electrical surge passes through it, ex executing <laughs> all living things. Here, the footage ends. Our crew can confirm that the strongbox was indeed empty. So we have a research option. Super solid materials. Super solid. Okay, I want Bakrimar because of the energy, but we also want to go here. Okay, we have more information on these dudes. Still unknown here. Let's do it one more time. And then go for that asset. Can we go for the asset here already? No. That's too bad. Initiating ground assault. Victory Ooh. shall be ours. We are invading the <laughs> native planet. After identifying an anomaly, let's let's go here. Um, an anomaly in the gravity well of ZA-19-36367. The ISS Agatha Damon has discovered the shattered wreckage of an ancient ore superfreighter buried deep within the asteroid or asteroids crust. It must have carried a full load when it crashed, and the asteroid's mineral wealth has been revised accordingly. Okay. We have gene clinics. Victorious. Okay, <laughs> we have successfully invaded, obviously. Our armies have successfully invaded and subdued the primitive forces on Cosk 3. The locals have given up all attempts at fighting back, and we have now subsumed their civilization into our empire. Although, backwards as they are, it may take some time for the natives to become fully productive members of EBT society. <laughs> to them, our weapons must appear like magic. Okay, so we have a new planet. Now, I'm gonna land the armies here and keep them there. Uh, they will have a, a very stellar culture shock for a long, long, long time. And um, they're not going to be very happy for 3,600 years. Uh, days. <laughs> years would be terrible. Um, but that's okay. They will, they will figure out that life is fun in uh, the Empire of the Bouncy Tail. Now, the problem is, we of course need our own colonists here in the specialist part of the job. And we have now unemployed little monkeys. But we can fix that. So what I want to do is I want to give them the... Indentured servitude rights and that oh habitability minus ten percent really you dum dums okay so that will reset their um their jobs and um, now there is fifteen percent stability we now have two colonists here so that's good but still five unemployed pops huh okay well that gives us a lot of opportunities. Let's get a uh, generator district and let's get a food district here. System survey complete. Oh, we'll get our fleet there in case we need it, but I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. I can reinforce this. Let's do that. Let's get let's get this up, up, up. The structures in Abnal 1 are not as old as we first believed. It seems to be a playground or amusement park of some sort. Science officer Drusus Canius notes that many of the contraptions are highly complex creations that we can learn much from, and that to the builder's alien eyes this might have been a cutting-edge sensor array, or even a gigantic installation. Regardless to us Romeans, it looks mostly like a place where you would take your young and let them amuse yourselves. Okay, so we have a very bad governor, by the way. Do we want another one? System survey complete. I always forget where this is. Planets and sectors. Do we have a better one? The researcher. Yeah, you know what? Let's get the researcher. 
Now we have conquered you. Construction complete. So what would we like to call you? They are monkeys, but mousy. We will call this planet mousy. And we have conquered this planet, and we are amazing. <laughs> we are absolutely amazing. So yeah. Do we have enough? 29. I wish you could set like an alert if you, you know, if you would, would say I want to go for acquire assets and give me an alert when I've reached 30. That would be nice. Because, you know, I tend to forget stuff. I mean, who doesn't? We all forget things. Would be nice if uh, if the game could help us there. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Ooh, we have Saramo metal armor. Good. Let's let's actually go for the research. And we have more information on these guys. Oh, superior. Not good. Already? Really? Really? Nah. Come on. How can you already be superior to me? I know you've just arrived there, but we really need to re uh, to upgrade you with better armor. Get the 20th ship in there. And then, um, I kind of want this for the energy. <sighs> They're not growing this way very quickly, so I think we can get to Bukrimar Construction first. Construction complete. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can. Um, <laughs> what else would I like? Let me see. You know, I never get the X van done so quickly. It's very interesting. It's always kind of on the complete opposite side of the uh, galaxy, and I'm never able to get there in time. This time, nope. Very different. Can we? Yes. Go. Oh, I can't. I don't have 900 energy. Great. And I'm losing energy right now. Not great. So that means... Hmm. Scientific breakthrough well, achieved. Hmm. Shields. Well, once these ships dock here at Bouncy Ball, this will this will be solved. Um, and I guess I can't do this right now either because the upkeep of the gun battery and the missile battery is one energy. Yeah. Let's build the starbase and get that three energy. And I'm pretty sure that when these guys are docked, we'll be okay. Hopefully. <laughs> ah, they're already docked. Minus three. Hmm. Not a very good. Ah, oh, slaves rally on Mousy. Clandestine slave meetings at night. Raised levels of defiance towards superiors and missing goods can mean only one thing. The slaves on Mousy are radicalizing, spreading dissent and discord among their peers, and fear to the rest of the population. Whatever they are up to, it can't be good. Nope. Can't be good. Can we declare martial law? We could do that. Um, we could also just distribute luxury goods, see if they can be assuaged that way. We don't have enough influence to um, do an anti-crime campaign, although I don't think that, that would really work. We, we would need martial law. Construction complete. But, yeah. Get that mining station, please. And we need another one with good energy income. So, <laughs> Durabius. Get back to Durabius. Or, 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 or. System survey complete. Well, Sterapy would be good, although the superior. outpost itself already uses one energy per month, I'm pretty sure. The starport. Upkeep is one. So, this would not really help us. We're at zero now, though. You can be upgraded again, really? Okay. 
do it. Construction complete. We are still building stuff here, so we are giving these people employment. The agriculture district will be good for two jobs, so we'll still have three unemployed pops. So actually, let's also get the um, Autochton Monument here. That's another two jobs. We need one more after that, so um, let's get another energy district. And Our then ships that will have be good. Been made superior. So let's survey here. There we go. And then anomaly <laughs> found. It's like, ooh. Oh, that's the merchants. Okay. Well, dang it. Let's go back to Darabius after all. Get the plus three there. Hey, puppy. Oh, that's a good shake, puppy. Very good shake. Now, let's see. System survey complete. Let us see. Ten minerals is so nice, but we really need the energy income. So I can't build any of these things. That's very upsetting. Hmm. Oh, I have to stop the episode. I'm, I'm going on for way, way, way too long. Okay, well, I'm going to stop this one here, and in the next one, we are going to think about war. I'm going to think about war. And I'm th going to think about war very, very seriously. I really want the asset here as well. But uh, maybe with these guys first, because they have the uh, highest point count. Yeah. Surely they can't be as strong as we are. Surely. It now says equivalent, so I will reinforce. Uh, I might sell some... Well, I don't have any rare resources, unfortunately. As soon as we start getting those, we can sell them for good things. But we have some consumer goods in surplus and food. So we could sell some of these, get more alloys that way, uh, get a little bit more ships, and um, the energy would be a little bit difficult, so I, I probably shouldn't do any big, big, big um, uh, espionage campaigns, but save up the energy so that we can actually fly over there and start uh, shooting things. Now, I would need some claims there, so I need to wait a little bit, uh, save up influence and claim stuff. So I think that's going to be the plan. If you have any other ideas, they're very welcome. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit the like button and please consider subscribing. It helps out immensely. New episodes in this series come out very regularly, and I hope to see you next time.